So you may be wondering why I'm starting off with the title screen. Well, if you look at the version right now, it's version 1.4.0.4. There's already been three small updates added to the game, and I'm gonna check them out on the patch notes right now. So let's go into the Terraria Gamepedia website. So we got... So what happened was on the same day that the update was released, we got an update that was just a bunch of bug fixes and minor changes made to the balance of the game. Um, then on the 20th, which was three days ago, as of this recording, um, there was many minor changes to item drops, recipes, and art, as well as plant growth speeds and potion effects. Also removed bad torch luck. So, the previous video was on this version. The new version... Uh, performance optimizations, fixes for memory management, as well as fixes for crashes and bugs. Now, I don't really see any of these changes making too much of an impact on my gameplay, or the bugs or things before. It must either be later game related, or I just was lucky enough to not encounter any bugs. So anyway, let's get back into the violent square of gel. Why is the moon green? Why is the moon green? So actually in the middle of the storm, I did a lot of things off camera because yesterday was like my sick day so I just kind of did things in the game on my own so one of the big ones was I set up the ocean pylon and the glowing mushroom pylon which I'm going to show you right now that's right the big mushroom house is done we got the pylon we got a uh, heavily discounted price on Nort Nort VPN so that's cool and I also spent a lot of time sectioning off my desert so as you can see it was getting kind of out of hand so I sectioned it off so we shouldn't have any spread and I'm going to be routinely checking it to see if we have any spread so another thing I did off camera was I went fishing and I got some of these new crates I didn't even know these crates were in the game but here they are so what I can only guess they are is that they're hard mode versions uh, or some of these, namely these three, are hard mode variants of the previous crate. So this is the wood crate, this is the iron crate, this is the gold crate. So let's open that one up. Nothing new. Okay. Let's open this one up. Sailfish boots, but still nothing new. How about you? Nothing new. Okay. Well, now I got a Mirage Crate and a Seaside Crate. Shell Pile and Flipper. Charmer's Flute. This is the one, yeah, this just summons a snake rope. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but that's okay because I have so many more crates. Okay, so we got Dune Rider Boots. Cool. Um, they're Hermes Boots, but Desert. That's nice. And we also got some Hard Mode Bars that... Uh, one of which, the Palladium, we don't actually have in this world, so that's cool. Uh, oh yes! The ti <laughs> Sorry. Oh yes! The Titanium Crate has titanium in it. Wow, that was such a surprise. But it's hard mode, so that means my suspicions are probably right. Yep, there we go, we got some Ore Calcum Ore. Get some of this. Whatever. Alright, well let's sort some things away, then we'll start opening the rest of this. Probably just do that, if I'm honest. How about this? Let's see what we get. So now I feel like I need to correct some things that I've said in previous. There are, you can still fish for crates, and it will still be useful. However, you have to do so after Hardman has been activated. Is this a good change? Yes. Is this better than just removing it all together? Definitely. Do I like the change? Yep. So Little Birdie told me that uh, there was a big thing added to the Underground Hallowed, and they told me if you wanted to get it, just collect a bunch of crystal shards. So they said, just go to the Underground Hallowed and get a bunch of gems. You'll, you won't regret it. So let's do that. Oh, 
All right, so here we are. Oh god. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna start picking up a bunch of crystal shards and yeah. We'll see when something cool happens or if I get anything. I don't know. We're just gonna be digging up a bunch of crystal shards anymore and seeing if anything new happens. What the heck? A gelatin crystal? Summons Queen Slime? Huh. Okay. So is this a new boss? I'm assuming... Yeah, okay, I'm assuming I have to use it in the biome. Or at the hallowed biome. Let's do that. I don't know what stage of the game you're supposed to fight the boss in. But I found this thing pretty quick. So I'm actually quite surprised by that. But anyway, let's go to the hallowed biome and fight the boss, I guess. Funny thing is, I actually haven't ever explored this part of the surface, which is funny. Alright, we found the hallowed, and it's the hallowed snow- Whoa! Look at that background, boys! Look at this! That's cool. Anyway. Yep! It has its own theme. Whoa! Whoa! You're cool! Hold on. I haven't seen you before. Because I still, even now, am trying to not really watch too much YouTube. You're interesting. Hold on. You are not boring. Quite the opposite. Bruh. Could I just fitted bag nags my way through this? Probably not, because I'm already taking damage. Oh gosh, this is interesting. I'm gonna have to practice this boss fight. I might actually lose this one, boys. This is nothing like the King Slime. I like this. You know, of all of the bosses that I would have expected them to add, a queen slime? Probably wasn't one of them. Whoa, what the hell? Second form? That's very interesting. I, okay. Gosh, this is hard in normal mode. I can only imagine expert mode, man. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Bouncy slime, crystal slime, wow. Okay, I didn't expect a lot of new boss content this update. Because it was there wasn't any in the trailer. And I didn't really hear any talk about it. So... Yeah, I wasn't expecting a new boss. That's cool. I don't know if there are going to be any more, but one cool boss... That's enough for me, mate. That satisfies my update. Like, when 1.2.4 came out and they had a Duke Fish run, boy, I was having all of it. I didn't care if it wasn't any 1.3 with two new bosses and a new Lunar Event crap. It, it, was, it was good enough for me, and it was great. And this is great. Queen Slime already looks like a really fun boss. I can't imagine having to fight this boss in Master Mode. I will definitely... Definitely learn this fight, practice it, probably watch some videos on it so I can understand the attacks. It just seems like a bullet hell sort of just crazy boss, and I think that's cool. Alright then, game. Thank you for murdering me. Appreciate it. Thanks, pal. All right, here we go. Let's do this one more time. Yep, we can just skip right to the second phase using the bag mags. That's pretty nice. 
I say skip, I have taken heavy damage, but it definitely passed a lot of time. Uh-oh. Why do I have the bag nags out? I'm stupid. Guys, I'm good at bullet hell, I promise. Alright, let's, let's get him. Yeah! How'd you like that damage? Oh god. Look at how many projectiles! Okay, I'm gonna have to grind you guys up for some health real quick. Thank you. Come here. And you're the next to be grinded up. Look at that. The Crystal Assassin Hood. The... A writable winged slime mount. Oh no. No. Why would you... Filled with party girl bath water? Why would you do that? Sparkle slime. You are slimy and sparkly. Please don't ever call me slimy again. I can't- is this permanent? <laughs> no, you're- you're getting banished. And what is- what is this? Whoa! It- Wow, that's cool. Holy heck, that's actually really cool. Let's fight more! <laughs> This is actually a really freaking cool mount. Hey, buddy. Oh wow, you teleported. Time to time to skip your first phase. Yeah. <laughs> Second phase. Um. You 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 screwed it up. Second phase. Yeah. There we go. Let's get back on the mount. Cause the mount's cool. That's really cool. Oh yeah, right. This is the better weapon. I keep forgetting about that. I actually really like this boss fight. This is the journey's end experience that I was thinking about right here. Look at that. Oh, what the heck? Queenly smash? <laughs> that sounds so dumb. But I really- I, I do want to say though, I am really happy that the Hallowed finally got a boss. Because that wasn't really the case before. How you doing, Queen Slime? Oh shoot, you fly. That is something you do, you do fly. Eat something. There we go. So, as I expected, this is quite an effective weapon. <laughs> I mean, in general, it is, but against the boss, it is as well. And while you're flying, you're gonna be a little harder to hit. But, I think I'm doing fine, actually. Why am I not on my own slime, huh? Yeah, that's right, I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing on you. How does that make you feel, eh? How does that make you feel? Get bounced on, punk. Maybe we finish this. Maybe we don't, actually. <laughs> Maybe we do, actually. Come here. Yeah! There we go. The hook of... Oh, what? Okay, so we got crystal assassin pants. That's no. What is, what is this? Oh. That's chill. Oh. No-eyed willy. 
Hey, me lad. You have the yo-yo glove? I take. Thank. Let's get a bunch of this. I want to make myself... Uh, Daddy needs some new shoes. I need to make myself... This. I have a counterweight somewhere. Right here. There we go. I take you. We're gonna make ourselves the yo-yo bag. It's the Tinker's Workshop, isn't it? It's gotta be. Yep. The yo-yo bag. Right there. Now our yo-yo is omega powerful when we, like, use it and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below. It shows me that you like what I'm doing here and that I should make more of it. Again, comment down below. I do read all of my comments, so I will notice and maybe even feature your comment if I like what you have to say. And that's all from me. I'll see you guys in the next one as I get swarmed by bullets.